Hello everybody and welcome back to more Kingdoms of Amalur. Alright guys, time for that saying that I always say. Say it with me now. I haven't played this game in a really long time. Yeah, you guys are so used to hearing me say that by now, it's probably not a surprise at all. But I haven't played this game since July 13th, 2013. Holy crap, today is like April 15th, 2014. So <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long, long while. So forgive me if I don't remember certain things, and forgive me if I don't remember what the fuck is happening and why. I feel like that's part of the reason that I'm not getting the exact right kind of enjoyment out of this game that I normally would because I just keep, you know, I keep fucking it up. I keep taking long ass breaks and I don't know what's happening. I don't know why this thing just descended and what the hell is in there. Obviously it's something that I want to pick up. It's like a sword of some kind apparently. Um, my quest is telling me to destroy the urns. What? That's the side quest. Why is there no quest marker for my real quest? Unless the two are overlapped over each other and I just can't see the objective? I... Well, there's litanies over that way, apparently. Or maybe it might just be another exit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know where I've been. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Why I'm here. I'm just really confused. How do I run? Okay. Just switch back to our chakrams. Um, yeah, what's happening? I'm going this way because the litanies are apparently around here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe I'll find them. I don't know. God. Why did I take such a long break from this game? Well, because to be honest, the the game is just not very compelling. It, it you don't feel like you really want to keep progressing. Like it doesn't really matter to me. It's, that's like my biggest. Um, oh my god! I'm just being beat up here. Yeah, I would say that's my biggest concern about this game is that you just don't. You just don't feel like you care. <laughs> I don't think once in this whole game have I actually really cared about the story and what's happening. Which is a shame because, you know, it's supposed to have like the storytelling force of R.A. Salvatore behind it and everything, but it's just not translating. Uh, I guess I should save comments like this for like my end video, but who the hell knows when that's gonna be. I've been LPing this game for- this is my third year. I got this game February 2012, I think? I wanna say that's when I got it. No, no, wait that doesn't make sense. What am I saying third year and then to saying 2012, that doesn't even make sense. But, oh no, I am right, I am on my third year, I haven't done three years yet, but I, <laughs> you get my point, whatever, um, I'm just not, hey, I do have a baby, um, I need to remember how to switch between my skills though, uh, there we go. That skill, of course. You don't seem to be very concerned about it, and I forgot how to use my health potion, so is it Q? It's not Q. Is it V? C. No. C is crouching, which is not what I want to do right now. <gasps> what the fuck am I doing? Where's R? Yeah, R. Um. What happened to my fate points? Why did they all disappear? I don't- I swear I had some just a while ago, I was staring at it. Wasn't it? I don't know. Please go away, troll. You're not fun to fight. You're tedious. <laughs> I 
really just feel like that's the majority of this game, is just feeling tedious with all these enemies, and... Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like hard mode just makes it that much harder at all. It just makes it... You know, more beefy. And yeah, I can take hits all over the place, but then... It's not that hard to get your life back. <laughs> Not hard at all. Alright. I like that death pose on you. Suits you well. Alright. Did I explore everything down there? No, because there's the litany down there. Fucking troll distracting me. There you are. Why am I in here? I... What the hell is going on? Go to the Shrine of Air. Where is that? Where is that even? It's telling me to go back outside where I came from, and I don't know why. I guess I'll listen to it, because I'm assuming the game knows better than I. Especially after the long ass break that I took from this game. It's unfortunate that I took the break like, in the middle of a DLC, which should have been a time to rekindle, like, the story for this game. And it kind of was at the beginning. I was really enjoying this game again because I was like, it was a whole new story that I could immerse myself in, but then I kind of lost it again. Anyways, entry two. It seems that there are labors... Oh, it seems that in their labors, the Rotella were paranoid. No sooner did I descend the stairs to try and get at the treasure they have s sequestered here than I see the mighty cage come down. Seems I won't be getting the treasures of Nerotella as easily as I had hoped. However, it does not seem as though the treasure is locked for me to get forever. There looks to be three components of the lock, color-coded in a hue that matches each of the three major wings. It should be as simple as finding the necessary mechanisms to undo the constituent portions of the lock. I'll start with the violet first. Okay, so that's basically like this thing right here, and he's telling us how to... how to do it, but wait a minute. Yeah, that is violet. That's violet. That's red. That's green, I think? Wow, why are there doors up there? So I'm not supposed to go back out? I, But I was just at the violet door, but I didn't do anything? I, uh... Maybe I should go down there? I don't know. I'm assuming the quest marker is fucked up right now, because I don't understand why it should be pointing me towards destroying urns when... I'm on the main quest, and that's not what it's supposed to be telling me to do, so I'm just gonna go and follow this, um, whatever the fuck, this scroll thing, because so I'm assuming it'll make more sense if I actually try to follow the logic that they're providing. Purple flames? Yeah. Good. Well, this seems like a nice little place. Okay, so what exactly am I supposed to be doing here? Uh, I guess I'll find out. Oh, there's a secret door though, and there's a bunch of traps. I certainly hear a lot of crap going on. Wait, what? Did that thing just change angles on me, or did I just, like, look at it completely wrong? I thought it was going horizontally, like, that way. 
Okay, well, I'm stupid. That's no surprise. Everybody knows it by now. No need to even try to disguise it. <laughs> Screw it. I'm pretty much resigned to that fact anyways. What am I doing? I was trying to press E to open the pot. I mean, don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, hello trap. <laughs> Didn't even see you there at all. Open the fucking chest. Oh wait, I already did. I'm an idiot. I got so distracted by the trap thing that I didn't even realize that I've already looted the chest. Which is so like me, you know? Looting chests is like so... So normal that I just don't even think about it anymore. Okay, what did I just pick up? I picked up a chakram, I think. Uh, no I didn't. What the fuck did I just pick up? I thought it was a chakram. Maybe I should have looked at it? I, I was trying to examine it, but I pressed the wrong thing. I, mm, I don't know what the... This must be really painful to l watch right now. Just me just being... Oh, there it is. It's a ring! Um... No? Thank you. <laughs> Not very good at all. Okay, let's go read. What was it? Explorer's Journal 3. Alright, entry 3. I had expect expected some rough work, dark hallways, but what is this structure that's been built here? Laden with vicious traps and poor lighting, it seems more like a work of a denier than a colossi. I'm only happy that I've managed to get as far as I have, but these mechanisms are already far beyond the complexity I was expecting. What have the Rotellos fashioned here? Hmm. While I was reading that, I had one of those moments where you're so used to expecting something to be there that when it's not there anymore, you just you just don't like register that fact. Um, my house uh, recently just did uh, carpet cleaning, and I had to move a bunch of furniture out of the way. And oh my god, I just keep stepping on the side of that. I'm, I'm stupid. But yeah, there was like a little um, folder holder box like thing under my desk. And I usually put my foot on it. Like I rest it on there. I use it as a footrest and it's gone now. <laughs> and I just keep trying to put my foot on it. It's not working. I forgot I had this shield thing. It can be pretty annoying during his cutscene, so I like to turn it off, but uh, it's annoying to try to remember to put it on again. Oh my god. I hate it when they chain me like that. But then I guess I'm getting a taste of my own medicine because I always chain people in this game. Sorry. Trying to dodge through it, but unsuccessfully because I'm too slow. It's kind of funny that in this game, um, so much of the loot is just like crap that. It's gotten to the point where I just almost don't even care about it anymore. I mean, I loot it on principle, that it's there for the taking and I can sell it later. But it's just like, there's no excitement in looting in this game anymore because, well, everything's crap. It's very rare that you find anything good in these boxes, so it's a little bit disappointing. Alright, let's keep going. 
Hopefully the game makes it really clear. I think that's really clear. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say hopefully it makes it really clear what I'm supposed to do, but... You know, there's like big purple flames telling me where to go. That's pretty clear, so that's good. Once again though, coming back into this game after a while, I have to remark upon the graphics of this game. Um, when I looked at reviews of this game, so many people were bitching about this game's bad graphics. I honestly don't think this game has bad graphics. I, I don't know where they're coming from with that. I mean, I know I've just discussed it before, but it's just, when I come back to this game, it's just like... A new set of eyes, I guess, looking at it again and again with new eyes. Yeah, it's stylistic to be sure, but... Alright. That is what- no, that's a fucking plant. <laughs> also like, is that a crystal that I need to collect? No, it's just black collage. Wait, wait, what? Uh, okay. A riddle of many doors. Were the Rotello's masons mad to be driven to this, or were they bored? I've been standing at these labors for what feels like hours, pulling the combinations that have sprung to my mind to find a way forward. I've slowly begun to learn that instead of wonder, I should be gripped with annoyance and fear at the sight of the Rotello's great works. What lovers? These lovers? Oh god. A puzzle? Okay. Well, let's take this off because the effects are kind of annoying to be honest. Oh fuck no. Oh fuck no. Oh fuckity fuck no! I suck at these types of puzzles! Okay, pull it. So this is one and two. This is three and four. The uh, first one I pulled is two, three, four. This one is four and five. Did I just seriously just do it? Okay, well, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> well, success by pure chance, but okay. I was expecting to have to actually use my brains there, but... Thanks, game. And thanks, Lady Luck, I guess. Hello. Hello, birdie. What are you doing here? Protecting treasure? Looks like it. No one should hold anything back from me, right? Oh, you're already dead. Overkill. I can't help but just laugh at my stupid dumb luck, but okay, whatever. Whatever works, I guess. I'm just a genius. What the fuck? Uh oh, troll time. Troll time means uh, minion time. I dodged backwards, which wasn't the best way to go. slowing. Why not, huh? 
I hate how he starts that attack and then if you dodge it, like he changes it mid swing. It's like, what the fuck? I need to stop double tapping my dodge button because that's just stupid. I mean, it helps sometimes, but. Like, there. I would have helped to double tap instead. But the direction you dodge in is, like, so weird sometimes. I don't understand it. Come on, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Come back! He's he's in invulnerable. Is he gonna open something for me? <laughs> what are you doing? No, you're attacking me again! What the fuck just happened? Once he reached this point, he became vulnerable to attacks again. Nice pose, man. Oh, work it. Work it. That's beautiful. But that was really weird. I, I don't know what the hell just happened here. He got tethered back to his spawn point? I, uh, I don't know. What the fuck just happened? Uh, entry 5. I'm lucky enough to have undone the violet cage. Though the process in doing so took far longer than I thought it would. What had begun as an endeavor of a few hours has devolved into days of work. Already I am growing concerned that I lack the necessary supplies to make the rest of this journey, and I dare not try to rest within these halls. But the treasure calls to me still. I will not let the ghost of madness best me. I am a mason in my own right. Any great work the Rotella's clan seeks to throw at me, I am capable of besting. Wait, was I supposed to do something back here? Why is that... Why is that note there after I just passed this point? Because that note makes it seem like he already opened the violet gate. But I didn't trigger anything. I just defeated a fucking troll thing. What? I don't understand. What? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I I didn't do anything other than defeat a tr how would defeating a troll trigger that? I mean, there must be some mechanisms. They're masons, not fucking wizards. I I don't get it. <laughs> it does not make any logical sense, but the fires <gasps> Maybe it's the fires. Maybe I just need to like make the journey and by passing those points the fire comes on once all the fires are lit it um it uh triggers this fire which makes the gate open. I don't know. Am I trying to attribute too much logic? Why aren't these fires coming on when I pass them? I don't know, but I'm gonna go through this one. Why are the fires not coming on? And how will I tell the red flames from just like torches? Uh -huh. This place is weird. Let's just say that. More birdies, fuck great. It's funny because I always start these episodes of LPs with something in mind to talk about. But once I get in game, everything just freaking goes away. It's it's gone. I don't even know what the hell I wanted to talk about anymore. And it's funny because like as I go through my days I have those moments where I'm just like, oh, this is an interesting topic to think or talk about in an LP video. 
And I'm just like, I should talk about that next time I record. But then I don't, because I forget, and I, no matter what I try, I just can't think of it right now. I honestly don't know. I also get too pulled into the game. That's like another thing. There, now the flames are coming on. Good. Yeah, I get distracted by the game way too easily to tell stories. Hi, birdie. I didn't see you there, actually. I only noticed you because of the mini-map. <laughs> Is there another one? No, that's my baby. My baby's kind of disgusting. Just saying. Okay, where do I go from here? It's like a freaking maze in here. Ooh, what is this? It's a bow. Not a very good bow. Uh, is this supposed to be maze-like? I think I'm gonna turn this bubble off. It's really kind of annoying. Cause when I'm trying to look around, all I see are the fucking bubbles. Um, dead end? Okay, so it is kind of like a maze where I have to figure out where I'm going. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> this looks promising. It's going pretty high. Um... This is another dead end. Great. <laughs> Fuck, how far am I falling here? This is I'm, I'm turned around now. I don't know where I... That's where I went. Um, let's try this path, because it's further from where I just came from. Mm, leads me to a chest. I won't object to that. from originally. There's monsters again now. Huh. Um, well this is a dead end. What about, what about like going high isn't my priority? Maybe I want to go lower? Oh, hello. There you guys are. Thought I heard you. Fuck. There we go. These guys a little bit easier than the other guys, the red ones. God, those ones are tedious. Come on. There we go. And that's it. Dead end. Fuck. <laughs> I don't like mazes. I tend to get lost in them. Okay. If I went up there and I came from this place? I came from the set of stairs that I'm staring at right now, right? I'm pretty sure I did anyways. I'm... Fuck. Logos? What's that? Is that my... Talisman? Fuck you, dude. Slight overkill on that bird, but okay. 
Alright, so let's try going up here, because this is the only path remaining, I think. Where is this jumping down to? Huh? No! We're back here! Holy! Um. Maybe I should like take a look at my map and see where I'm actually trying to go. This jump point? Or that one? I don't know. Which... But I don't even know which staircase leads up there. I thought this was the staircase I came from. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. I think it... It is. It is where I came from. Um... I'm gonna go up this again. I feel like maybe I found the wrong jump point. And this one led me the highest and the most varied places, I feel like. Is this where I want to... Yes? Yeah. That was a moment of, like, supreme confusion. Um, okay, we made it through. So I was right, like, in my staircase choice the first time. I was just was stupid and jumped off the wrong point without looking at my mini-map to see where I'm supposed to be going like a fucking dumbass. That's so sin. Fucking birds. Like, seriously. If you just leave me alone, I wouldn't have to kill you. It's as simple as that. Okay, sweet. Okay, so purple was like... Oh no, the purple did have a puzzle too. But it had a troll at the end as well. Um, yeah, this one. That's all that's left. <laughs> oh god, is this one trap based? Because I really do not like traps. That wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. There seems to be a treasure chest at the end of this path. Yes. Yes. I like how the floor is marked with blood where the traps are. That's always nice. Okay, there's two here. Okay, well, well I got that back. Oh. 
What? I didn't think I was standing on it. Whatever. Fine. Maybe they just have bigger hitboxes than I expected. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Stupid. Just teleport through and hope for the best. Yeah? Yeah. Could also go for that one. Uh, I take back all I have just written. The Rotellos were mad and deserve the burning embrace of Telogris. Did I miss six and seven somewhere? I feel like I did. The last thing I remember is entry five. Unless I read some without remembering. Hello? Let me test something. Um, if I teleport over these... Um, do I trip them? No, I don't. Oh, oh there's a dead person. Can I go inspect them? Oh, that did trip it. It seems like if it's at the near the end of my teleport, it does trip it. Oh, turn this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got some rats. Oh, these are the most disgusting, ugly rats. It's funny that these disgusting things should remind me of Rufus from Kim Possible. <laughs> he was cute, but the fact that these guys have their hair falling off and their dirty skin exposed just kind of reminds me of the naked mole rat. Sorry. You were cute, Rufus. No offense to you by comparing you to these things. <laughs> uh, did you guys all watch Kim Possible when you were little? Cause I loved them. I loved that show. Why did I say I loved them? It's like Kim Possible is more than one thing. A person. I just called her a thing. Uh, where's my... There you are. What is this thing? I don't even know. Let's just, you know. Repair it, because we're here. Why not? Where's the chest? Is it above me? It is. Oh, it's not a chest, it's just a pile of crap. Guarded by rats. Okay. I don't know where this is taking me, because... Oh, I guess there's a way above? Oh, this is long. Huh. In that case, I think I'm going to call the video here because I was planning to finish off this green section because I honestly thought this little part was it, but okay, it's not. <laughs> it's pretty long. So we'll call it here and next time we'll unlock the green gate. See you guys then.